Welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about the woman who was hit in the face with a brick. Then she said, black men don't protect us. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. This black woman that you see in this video right now said that black men don't protect black women. She was hit in the face by a brick because she would not give a young man her telephone number. But earlier that evening, she did something else that nobody is talking about. She slapped this white man in the face, then proceeded to start twerking. Once you see this video, I'm going to make some comments after the video. So I want you to take a good look at this. This man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a fuck. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. And all y'all just fucking watch. You don't see that shit? You don't see that shit? What y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Fuck all y'all niggas. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally a man asked me for my number. I said no. And he, he picked up a brick in front of so many men. And was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these niggas is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And then they all just watch. And they let that nigga get in a car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? I don't even care about my face because I'm still going to be prettier than all of y'all niggas because I have a pretty heart. <laughs> but my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I will stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. <laughs> Here's a young lady who was hit by a brick. And nobody deserves to be hit by a brick by a man, anyone, at any time. You deserve the right to say, hey, I don't want to give you my phone number. But people never talked about what she had did earlier. She slapped a white man, walked away from him, and twerked. So whatever the white man said to her, he didn't physically hurt her. She physically jumped on a white man. She put her hands on him. Then she decided to twerk because she wanted that extra attention. See, this whole thing has to do with how a woman carries herself. If a woman is a streetwalker, a prostitute, a stripper, a woman who's known for being a woman of the night. Do you think a young man who's got everything to lose and very little to gain is going to come to your defense, possibly lose his life, possibly get shot, possibly become disabled to save you because of what you are doing? Now, this woman slapped this white man, decided she wants to twerk, sexually twerk. But she wants every black man to come to her rescue. Now, I don't know what she said to the man. We don't know what went on in the discussion. All we know is that she was hit with a brick. So every time a black woman gets involved in a situation, a black man is supposed to come run to her defense and save her 
when we know that plenty of times black men have done this and end up in dire circumstances. See, you can run to the defense of this woman, whatever situation she is. She could be a boyfriend, could be something happening. But now it is that black men don't protect us. No matter what we do, no matter what we say, no matter how we act, no matter how we present ourselves. But you know what? If it was a mother in the church, a woman with status, a woman who carried herself a certain way, yes, that black man will come and protect her. But a black man is not going to protect a woman when he sees her present herself the wrong way. When you present yourself as a queen, you just can't say you a queen. You got three, four, five baby daddies. And you hanging out at the club, got your booty shorts on. Ain't nobody coming to your rescue. I'm sorry. Men come to respectable women's. And they save respectable women. But they are not going to come to women who are out here performing, looking for all this attention. Then when you get the wrong attention, the black is his fault. The black man ain't protecting us. The black man ain't doing this. It's the way that the black woman, and I'm just saying a certain percentage, is presenting themselves to America and to, to the community. Quick with the lip, quick with the mouth. But when it comes to the point to where that man, that we don't know who you're talking to, because see, you got to understand, we live in a society right now. You got black men out here with guns, and they'll pop you in a second. They ain't going to fight you. We know this. We know that we got men out here who are loose cannons. So you run over there and you try and save her and you end up six feet deep. Your family missing you, your wife, your children missing you. So you have to be extremely careful at the decisions that you make. But now she wants to blame black men for what happened to her. I don't know what truly happened. We don't know what truly happened. We don't know what she said, but we do know she put hands on another man. So she was out there possibly doing something that these other men seen her doing. We don't know. But to be a woman who deserved to be saved, you have to be an upstanding black woman, a black woman who carries herself in a certain way. Now, many of you won't understand that because you don't think that whatever I do, I should be saved for a black by a black man that you don't even know. That black man saved you from your boyfriend, and tomorrow you back with the nigga. So whose fault is it? I don't know. But those men made a business decision, and the business decision was not to help you. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.